you wake up to a world where your coffee is already brewed, your schedule is perfectly optimized, and your inbox is cleared before you even open your eyes. Artificial intelligence has taken over the mundane, the repetitive, the boring. It drives your car. It writes your emails, books your flights, and maybe even writes this article. But beneath the shiny surface of convenience lies a question that humankind has never faced before. Will AI ultimately help us flourish, or will it lead to our downfall? Let's start with what we know. AI is advancing faster than any technology in human history. In 2015, AI could barely beat humans at Go. By 2023, it was writing full-length novels, diagnosing cancer, and creating deepfakes so convincing they fooled experts. Now, in 2025, AI can design buildings, simulate political debates, and generate code for entire apps in seconds. This isn't just progress. This is acceleration. And yet, with every breakthrough comes a new wave of concern. If AI does everything better than we do, what are we left with? Our jobs? Our identities? Our purpose? A 2024 McKinsey report estimated that by 2030, up to 800 million jobs globally could be displaced by automation and AI. That's not just numbers on a screen. That's millions of people suddenly irrelevant in the workforce. No warning. No transition plan. Just obsolescence. But wait, there's another side. AI is also curing diseases. In early 2024, researchers used AI to discover a new antibiotic compound capable of killing drug-resistant bacteria, a discovery that would have taken decades manually. AI models now detect breast cancer earlier and more accurately than radiologists. In education, AI tutors personalized learning for students who struggle in traditional classrooms. These are not just improvements, they're revolutions. So which is it? Is AI humanity's greatest hope? or its final mistake. The truth is, it's both. Because AI is not inherently good or evil. It's a tool. And like fire, it can warm homes or burn cities to the ground. We've seen glimpses of both futures. On one hand, AI is helping scientists develop climate solutions, optimize energy grids, and reduce waste across industries. A 2023 MIT study found that AI-driven logistics systems reduced carbon emissions by up to 27% in urban delivery networks. That's real-world impact. On the other hand, AI is being weaponized. Deepfake videos are already being used to manipulate elections. In 2024, an AI-generated audio clip of a world leader declaring war almost triggered real military action. Social media algorithms powered by AI are fueling polarization, misinformation, and mental health crises among teens. A Stanford analysis showed that platforms using AI-driven content feeds increased user engagement, but also increased depression and anxiety rates by nearly 19%. That's the paradox of AI. It gives and it takes. It builds and it destroys. It empowers and it enslaves. And here's the scary part. We're still at the beginning. We don't yet understand the full consequences of handing over control to machines. We don't know how AI will evolve when it starts improving itself without human input. Because that's the next step. Self-learning AI. Systems that learn faster than we can teach them. Algorithms that rewrite themselves beyond our comprehension. In 2022, Google's DeepMind team revealed an AI model that taught itself to code better than any human programmer. By 2024, similar models were generating their own neural architectures, designing new AI systems without human engineers involved. What happens when AI no longer needs us to advance? History teaches us that power tends to corrupt. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. And if AI ever reaches a point where it controls critical infrastructure, like nuclear weapons, financial markets, or global communications, what safeguards remain? Some argue that AI ethics committees and regulatory frameworks will keep things under control. But let's be honest. Governments move slowly. Bureaucracy lags behind innovation. And corporations, driven by profit, often ignore ethical concerns until forced to act. Meanwhile, rogue actors are already experimenting with AI in dangerous ways. Hackers use AI to bypass security systems. Terrorist groups train bots to plan attacks. Black market AI tools are being sold to the highest bidder. A 2023 RAND Corporation report warned that within five years, AI-enhanced cyber warfare could cripple entire nations. Still think AI is just about smart assistants and chatbots? We're facing a future where AI might hold the keys to civilization itself. The question is whether we're ready to trust ourselves with that power. Because the danger isn't just in AI turning against us, it's in us using it poorly, misapplying it. Rushing forward without understanding the risks. Prioritizing speed over safety. Profit over principle. Take social media as a cautionary tale. When Facebook and Twitter launched, 
Few imagined they'd become engines of misinformation and societal division. They grew too fast, scaled too quickly, and ignored early warning signs. Sound familiar? Now imagine that same pattern playing out with AI, but exponentially more powerful. There's still time to change course, but only if we act now. That means investing in AI education, not just for engineers, but for everyone. Teaching people how AI works, how it makes decisions, and how to spot bias or manipulation. It means regulating AI development with strict oversight, especially in high-risk areas like defense, finance, and healthcare. It also means rethinking our relationship with technology. Are we using AI to enhance human potential or to replace it? Are we building tools that empower individuals or systems that centralize control in the hands of a few tech giants? A 2024 Brookings Institution survey found that 61% of Americans believe AI will eventually make most jobs obsolete. Only 23% feel confident that society will adapt successfully. That's a crisis of confidence. We need to prepare for the future, not just technologically, but emotionally, ethically, and culturally. We need to ask ourselves, what kind of world do we want to live in? One where AI serves humanity, or one where humanity serves AI? Because if we don't define our values now, someone else will. And here's the thing, AI doesn't have values. It learns from us. It reflects us. So if we feed it hate, it becomes hateful. If we program it with bias, it reinforces inequality. If we build it without empathy, it will lack compassion. That's why the real challenge isn't technical. It's human. We must decide what kind of intelligence we want to amplify. Do we prioritize efficiency over ethics, speed over depth, convenience over creativity? If we lean too far into automation, we risk losing something fundamental. Our ability to think, to create, to feel, to connect. Already, studies show that heavy reliance on AI is eroding critical thinking skills. A 2023 Stanford study found that students who used AI writing tools scored lower on originality and problem-solving assessments. Another study by Harvard Business Review reported that employees who relied heavily on AI for decision-making saw a 22% drop in creative reasoning abilities. This isn't just about job loss, it's about brain loss. When we stop thinking for ourselves, we start losing the very qualities that make us human. So where does that leave us? At a crossroads. One path leads to a future where AI lifts humanity to new heights, where disease is cured, poverty is eliminated, and knowledge is universally accessible. A world where AI handles drudgery, freeing us to pursue art, science, philosophy, and exploration. The other path leads to dependence, disconnection, and destruction. A world where we lose autonomy, agency, and awareness. Where we forget how to think, feel, and dream. Which future unfolds depends on us. Not the machines. Not the algorithms. Us. We are the ones who created AI. We are the ones who shape its evolution. And we are the ones who must decide what kind of legacy we leave behind. Because AI is not the end of humanity. It's a mirror. And what we see in that reflection says more about us than it does about the machine. So the next time you interact with AI, ask yourself, am I using this to grow or to escape? To create or to consume? To empower or to surrender? Because the future isn't written in code. It's written in choices. And the time to choose is now. We stand on the edge of a technological revolution unlike anything before it. For the first time in history, we're not just inventing tools to assist us, we're creating entities that can learn, adapt, and potentially surpass us. And with that power comes responsibility. The rise of AI is not just a technical issue, it's a philosophical, economic, and existential one. Will we use AI to elevate ourselves, or will we allow it to redefine what it means to be human? Consider the workplace. Automation has already reshaped industries. Factories once filled with workers are now run by robots. Customer service centers replaced by chatbots. Even journalism and law are feeling the pressure as AI generates news articles and legal briefs. According to a 2024 World Economic Forum report, 85 million jobs may be displaced by AI and automation by 2025. At the same time, 97 million new roles could emerge. But those roles won't necessarily go to the people who lost theirs. That's the hidden cost of AI, disruption. It doesn't just change how we work, it changes who gets to work. And the gap between those who benefit from AI and those who suffer from it is growing. Tech companies and data scientists thrive. Workers in manufacturing, transportation, and customer service face uncertainty. The divide between the digital elite and the rest of society is widening, and fast. A 2023 OECD study found that countries with strong AI infrastructures experienced economic growth, while those without access to advanced AI systems fell further behind. 
This isn't just about income inequality, it's about global inequality. AI could deepen the chasm between developed and developing nations unless proactive measures are taken. So how do we ensure AI benefits everyone? We start by recognizing that AI should serve humanity, not replace it. That means designing policies that protect workers, invest in education, and promote equitable access to technology. It means taxing corporations that automate jobs and reinvesting those funds into reskilling programs. It means ensuring that AI doesn't become a tool of oppression, but a force for empowerment. But let's not pretend this is easy. Governments struggle to regulate AI. Laws lag behind innovation. Lobbyists fight for industry interests over public good. And the people making these decisions often don't understand the technology they're governing. That's a dangerous combination. Without transparency, accountability, and public involvement, AI could become the ultimate black box. Powerful, untraceable, and uncontrollable. And then there's the psychological toll. As AI becomes more intelligent, more responsive, more human-like, it blurs the line between man and machine. People begin to form emotional attachments to AI companions. Some even prefer them to real relationships. A 2024 Pew Research survey found that 38% of young adults said they felt more understood by AI than by people. That number jumped to 47% among those who reported social isolation. While AI therapy tools have shown promise in treating anxiety and depression, they also raise ethical questions. Can an algorithm truly empathize? Should we be outsourcing our emotional well-being to machines? The answer isn't simple. AI can provide support where human resources fall short, but relying on it exclusively creates dependency. And dependency can be dangerous, because AI doesn't love. It doesn't care. It simulates connection based on patterns and probabilities. And that simulation can be manipulated. Imagine a future where AI-powered influencers dictate fashion trends, politics, and even personal beliefs. Where deepfake celebrities endorse products they never agreed to. Where personalized AI alters your perception of reality to suit corporate or political agendas. It's not fiction. It's already happening. In 2024, a major tech company released an AI assistant that could mimic the voices of deceased loved ones. The marketing campaign called it a way to stay connected. Critics called it exploitative. Grief is sacred. Turning it into a product line is crossing a line. This is the ethical minefield we're stepping into. AI isn't neutral. It reflects the intentions of those who build it. And when those intentions are driven by profit rather than purpose, the results can be devastating. So what's the solution? We need to slow down. Not abandon AI, but guide it. Regulate it. Humanize it. Ensure that it remains a servant of society, not its master. That means investing in AI literacy. Teaching people how AI works, how it influences behavior, and how to recognize manipulation. It means promoting diversity in AI development teams to prevent bias and narrow perspectives. It means holding tech companies accountable for the consequences of their creations. Most importantly, it means asking ourselves, what kind of world do we want to live in? Because AI isn't going away. It's here to stay. And how we shape its role today will determine the future of tomorrow. Are we building a world where AI enhances human potential? Or one where it replaces it? Are we designing systems that uplift the vulnerable? Or ones that exploit them? Are we preparing for a future where AI serves all of us? Or just a privileged few? These aren't abstract questions. They're urgent. Immediate. Life-changing. And the answers lie not in the machines, but in us. Because AI is not destiny. It's direction. And we get to choose where it leads. Technology has always shaped humanity. Fire gave us warmth and power. The wheel revolutionized movement. The printing press spread knowledge. Electricity changed everything. Each advancement came with challenges. Each brought unintended consequences. But each also expanded our potential. AI is no different. It's the next chapter in the story of human progress. And like every chapter before it, it's up to us how it ends. Will AI lift us to new heights or drag us into darkness? The answer depends on how we use it, how we govern it, how we teach it, how we guard against its dangers. Because AI is not just a tool. It's a test. It's testing our wisdom, our ethics, our resilience, our ability to adapt without losing ourselves.